Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major ethnic groups in Malawi and their peculiarities. Malawi is one of the 45 landlocked countries of the world, being surrounded by bigger neighbors on all sides, though quite small in size but not in ethnic diversity, with over 15 ethnic groups residing in the country. Let's look at the major ethnic groups in Malawi and their peculiarities. The Chewa are a Bantu ethnic group and the largest in Malawi, where they make up 36% of the population. They are also known by the alternative name, Nyanja. Two large clans make up the Chewa, the Fury, who are the nobility and aristocracy, and the Banda, who are the healers and mystics. Chewa people speak the Chichewa language. Chichewa is the national language in Malawi and it is predominantly used for communication in the media and education system, among other platforms. The Chewa are feared and respected among other ethnic groups because they are believed to have knowledge of magic charms which can be used against the opposition. Their famous dance, Gule Wamkulu or Nyau, is seen as a secret society of magic powers. The masked men of Gule Wamkulu are considered to be animals or spirits and are greatly feared. The masks often portray animals like dog, crocodiles, lions or ancestral spirits. The masked men have special names like Kangwingwi, Chazunda and Ngona. Kangwingwi is known to put human feces around his mouth which attracts flies wherever he goes. People often hide or kneel and put money on the ground when they hear the Gule Wamkulu approaching. Chewa people believe in the god called Chiuta. The god Chiuta in Chewa tradition created all things on the Kapiritinwa mountain, which lies along the borders of Malawi and Mozambique. They also believe in immortality, in the sense that their departed ancestors still exist after death. Chewa traditional villages are usually comprised of about 50 huts. Mostly, a village is made up of families that are related by blood or marriage. Each village has its own chief, who serves as its head. The village headman submits to regional chiefs, who in turn submits to paramount chiefs. Each chief showed their loyalty to the higher chief by the regular payment of tribute, as well as supplying men in time of war. The Chewa grow various crops including maize, vegetables, tobacco, millet and nuts for food as well as for trade. They also earn a living by engaging in fishing. Marriage is often handled by the uncles of the intending couple. Usually, the man reports his intention of marriage to his Mwini Mbumba that is uncle or an Nkoswe that is the head of the family. The uncle in turn meets the uncle of the bride-to-be and they commence marriage discussions. The man's uncle gives the woman's uncle some money, clothes or any valuable known as chikole. Thereafter, the union is finalized and sealed. Being a matrilineal society, women hold a special place in Chewa society. They are recognized for reproducing the lineage that is Bele which is an extended family of people related to the same ancestor. As a matrilineal society, inheritance of property and land rights is through the mother. Children of the same mother make up a family of dependents. When crops are sold, income from the sale go to the woman of the house. Hastings Kamudubanda, who served as the first president of an independent Malawi, was a Chewa. Lomwe the Lomwe ethnic group is the second largest in Malawi with 18% of the population. They mostly reside in the southeast section of Malawi, especially in the Falombe district. Lomwe people speak the Elomwe language, but the younger people tend to speak the Chichenwa language more even though it is not their native language. Their customs are centered around work and play. 
The men are responsible for building the houses, erecting barriers to protect the gardens and the grain bins to store the maize. In the past, Lomwe men were known to be skilled hunters, but over time, the number of game remaining for hunting has reduced. Women take up the responsibility of cooking and caring for the children. Also, they enjoy making clay pots. Young adolescent boys undergo rites of passage called Zoma. This initiation ceremony takes place in July and August. When the day comes, the initiates are shaved and enter into seclusion. The seclusion place is usually along a river or a stream. An elderly instructor stays with the initiates in their seclusion. A thatched hut called Simba or Thezo is built. During this period, the initiates are instructed the rules for acceptable behavior as members of the society. Marriage and funeral rites procedures are also taught to the initiates. During the seclusion, their parents are expected to abstain from sexual relations as that can cause harm on their child at the Samba. At the end of the initiation, the initiates return to their village with celebration and feasting. The Samba is set ablaze just before the initiates leave. Girls also go through their own rite of passage known as Chinamwali. Generally, the Lomwe are animists who believe in and worship spirits and their ancestors. Although many of them would consider themselves as Christians, they are still influenced by the local traditions of ancestral worship as evidenced in their daily lives. The famous Mulanje Mountain, located in Lomwe territory, is believed to be associated with spirits of the dead, especially at the highest peak. It is believed that food can be found on the mountain, of which one was not expected to speak to anyone about, as that would make the food disappear. Steve Bernard Miles Chimumbo, who was one of Malawi's leading writers and poets, was from the Lomwe ethnic group. The Yao is the third largest ethnic group in Malawi, constituting 14% of the population. Other groups include the Tumbuka, Ngoni, and Songa. Which have we missed out of these ethnic groups? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel.